in Arizona, there's five levels of homicide, so there's also five levels of punishment. Capital murder, this is death penalty. If the state files a notice of intent to seek death on a first degree murder, and if the jury finds uh, a person guilty, they can also recommend that they've found aggravating factors and then the judge can decide the sentence of either death, um, natural life, or 25 years to life, where after 25 years of day for day, the person can petition for commutation or parole in order to get out, and they can keep repetitioning every two years. Those are the three levels of punishment for capital murder, and also for first degree murder, should they not give death. Now on second degree murder, 10 years minimum day for day in prison, uh, 16 is the presumptive, 22 is the max. So a person can get anywhere in there for second degree murder which is unusual because sexual conduct with a minor is it actually higher. And if there's more acts with a minor, they will stack those. So we actually call those life enders, where second degree murder, it's really just 10 to 22 years. Now with manslaughter, what is the punishment for manslaughter? 10 years minimum in prison, 10.5 presumptive, 21 maximum. Now that is not like first degree or second degree where it's day for day prison time. Person can actually get 85% time, meaning 10.5 years can actually be nine years. And on top of that, they have a three month early kick out many times, so a person could be out in eight years and nine months. That being said, nobody wants to go to prison for almost nine years. So normally on a vehicular homicide is where we see manslaughter. Uh, if you've been charged with that, you're gonna need to hire somebody who knows what they're doing. We happen to have very good success with manslaughters, as you can see on our website jury uh, victory section. Now, in regards to negligent homicide, what is the penalty for that? Well, that can be anywhere from probation with zero days in jail, uh, all the way up to probation with one year in jail flat time. Or the judge can give prison, four years minimum, six years presumptive, eight years maximum. On that prison, it can be 85% time, so four years can drop down to roughly three and a half years, and another three months of early kick out for good behavior. Again, Nobody wants to go to prison for over three years on a negligent homicide. Many times we're able to get negligent homicides reduced to probation with little or no jail at all. If you've been charged with any one of the homicides and you need a lawyer, contact us. We're very good at what we do.